Hi guys, so today I'm really really excited to be doing this video for you guys because I'm going to be doing a one brand tutorial on e.l.f. makeup. They're basically just called e.l.f. and I bought a few things from the actual e.l.f. UK website and then some things from Superdrugs because they didn't have like my coloured foundation on their website in stock so I thought let me just go on Superdrugs and also on their website they had a 50% off thing going on and I was just like that's a sign for me to do this video for you guys so I've got all my e.l.f. products laid out in front of me I'm just so excited for this video like when it came yesterday I, I just died of excitement guys um, so the first thing that I always do is my brows and I got the um, e.l.f. lock on liner and brow cream I realised that everything is like in individual boxes, which is kind of new to me, but anyways. Um, so I'm just going to pull this out. Oh, I can't get it out. It's kind of like a dip brow. I have the shade Espresso, which is the dark, darkest shade. I've got mostly the darkest shade for everything. It says, glides on smoothly to sculpt shade and define brows. Can also be used as eyeshadow or eyeliner for gorgeous long-lasting colour. Okay, so let's put this on. This is what it looks like. Even though it says espresso, I feel like this is quite light for an espresso, so we'll see. I'm just going to use a normal... Oh, oh my lord. So when you dig into it, it gets a bit darker. Okay, yeah, like when you dig into it, it's definitely an espresso. Look at that. That's super dark. I'm not going to put too much. That was super quick to use. And I'm really glad at the darkness. It's definitely more creamier and moussier than a dip brow. Like when you dip your brush into the box, your brush literally just dips in. The reason why I don't wear like um, dip brow much often is because I feel like I, it doesn't look as natural. Especially on the tail, it just looks really drawn on. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. So far, I'm actually quite surprised at it and pleased with it, I would say. Um, I'm going to also grab this brow tinted brow gel that I got as well. And this is in the shade Dark. It looks like this, and I'm super surprised at the brush. It's just a super thin, long brush. I wore this yesterday on my brows, and I can tell you I absolutely love it. Like, it does keep your brows in place. It has this nice tint, and the brush is just perfect. And it just like makes your brows look more realistic, you know when it just combs every single hair? This is definitely I see myself repurchasing. So I'm going to just leave my brows like that, but I can say I absolutely love the tinted brow gel. This is something I will cherish and I actually really like it. Okay, so now we're going to go on to... I'm thinking we're going to go on to the eyes because we are going to use dark colours. So the first thing that I got... Well, I always use concealer on my eyelids and I got the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. So this is what the concealer looks like and I have the shade Medium. Now they only had three shades, I believe, in this concealer. Um, this is the darkest shade, which is a shame really. I definitely think they can use some improvement in their shade range in concealers. I mean, their foundation's got a good shade range, but their concealers, definitely not. Um, so I'm just going to put this all over my lid. I would say like for me it's an okay colour. But if you're like darker then you just can't use it. It's just going to be too light. Which is a shame really. Because you're just, you're just like cutting out so many potential customers you know. I have no idea what look I'm going to go for. But this is more like testing the products I would say. So I got the new Mad From Matte eyeshadow palette. But the second one I believe. But there is the other one which has more like purpley orange colours and I got the more bluey black one. This is what the palette looks like. I'm dying to try these two colours and the black. But let me swatch some colours for you. This is the turquoise. This is the deep blue. Navy. And then let's just do the black. This is like just literally dipping my finger. That's not bad. So I'm passing my makeup wipe on the brow stuff and it's having a hard time coming off. That's pretty good. As you can tell, the colours are really pigmented from the eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to use the lightest colour first and set my eye with, with this, or my concealer. This is just going to really help with blending. And it, I think it helps with creasing as well, it just sets everything. I really like the fact that they have the orange shade there, so I'm going to use... It's kind of like a burnt orange, so I'm going to use that first. Quite a lot of fallout. 
in the first um, mad for matte palette i felt like there was a lot of colors that i couldn't really potentially use so that's why i got this one because there's more darker colors in it i'm just going to do one eye for now and then i'll just do the other eye off camera i mean i'm slowly building it up and it is building up nicely i'm going to take a smaller fluffier brush and i'm going to go in with a dark brown Don't go too high up with the brown because you want to keep that warmth there. So you're grabbing more of the concealer, I'm going to cut my crease. Okay, so now I'm going to grab some of the white shade quickly. And I'm just going to set that in the first section. Then I'm going to grab some of this shade right here. This is going to go on the middle. I mean, you can tell that's super pigmented, guys. Just pack that on for now. Then we're going to go in with the really dark navy right here. I would actually just like smoke my lash line with these blue colours. I really like that. Kind of like try and fade them. I like to just grab my finger. Just to like try and blend the two. I mean, they do kind of blend together. I do see a slight difference, but I don't know if you can see in camera. We're just going to take the black for the outer corner. I'm just taking a clean brush to kind of diffuse these two right here. I do want it to come in a bit more. You see how I'm like slowly fading it? I do have to say that I'm super impressed with this palette. Very impressed. Like when I swatched it, I was like, this is really out. There is something weird going on there. I don't know what that is. I feel like the black and that deep blue don't go that well together for some reason. But we'll see when I do it on the other eye. But I'm pretty, I'm still really impressed. I also did get the aqua eyeshadow kind of thing. This is a molten liquid eyeshadow. I have the shade brushed copper and I think I'm just gonna do like a, a cut crease line. I would like to put this all over, but I'm just not gonna, I feel like I'm gonna go for this, something different. This is what the eyeshadow looks like. It's really pretty. So I'm just gonna put a ton on the back of my hand don't even know if this is gonna work out but we'll try it anyways take a really thin brush and just do the cut Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. I do feel like it dries a bit quick, so you need to work quick with it. I don't know. I really like that, guys. Let's do a quick close-up. And I have some fallout. You can you see that weird thing happening between these two? But I think it overall looks really pretty. I'm going to do the other eye right off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished both eyes, and I have to say I am very impressed. Okay, so now on to skin. I bought the... Prep and Hydrate Balm. Do you know how long I've been waiting for this product? For ages. Since Nikki Tutorials used it in her video, I've always been trying to get it. And then I always add it to the basket and I never get it because I'm not buying enough stuff. And it was always out of stock. And now I finally have it. The scent really smells like some type of... Some, problem, some type of men's cream. Like, not really strong, but it's very fresh. It's a clear cooling balm, helps hydrate and prep the skin for makeup application, enriched with purified water, shea and 
vitamin E to help nourish and moisturize. Great for daily use and can be used on areas such as the face, hands, elbows, and knees. That's so cute. And apply on face in circular motion prior to makeup. I mean, it's not the most hygienic way, but my Makeup Forever foundation is a stick, and I go. I mean, if you know you're the only one that's going to use it, then why not? I kind of like, I really like the concept and um, my skin is getting tackier by the minute as it's drying. Yeah, I can feel tackiness. So I'm kind of happy with that. I mean, it does hydrate my skin. I'm going to go on to foundation. I didn't even get colour corrector. So I got the um, Flawless Foundation. Flawless Finish Foundation. This has been highly requested. If you guys want to see a full review on it after this video, then just let me know in the comments. If you want a separate video on it. This is what the bottle looks like. Very chic. It's got a matte bottle. It says apply generously 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. So they advertise this on this thing like as a sun protection thing. It's just to protect yourself from sunburns really. But it's a foundation. I got the shade Caramel. Um, it doesn't really say anything about coverage. Lightweight and oil-free formula. Help even its skin tone. Long-lasting, beautiful and semi-matte. Semi, I don't mind semi-matte than completely matte. So it's definitely very thick. It's not even budging a bit. I'm hoping that's a good colour. Because with thicker foundations like that, I just like to use a thicker brush. I'm going to use my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. It is looking a tad bit pink. A little bit pink for me. I hope this oxidised a little bit or something because this looks like I've put a mixture of foundation and SPF like those white SPFs on my face because the colour is good but then when you, when you start to blend it it just looks very pink like I'm not liking this at all we'll just leave it like that I'm just going to put maybe a little bit more here you see, you just can see my skin through it okay, I'm just going to put a bit of the concealer on same concealer, the HD lifting one see that's a good colour for me I salvage this I'm quite happy with the concealer because it's definitely something I would wear. I mean, it's not full, full coverage. It's definitely more of like a medium. I also got some under eye setting powder. This is tiny, like tiny. It's the HD under eye powder. Now, I don't really get along with HD powders, but I needed something to set my under eye. So I thought, let me get this. It comes with like a sifter in there. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and lightly set my under eyes. I'm not going to bake. Because if I bake with this, it's just going to be a disaster. Just lightly. I feel like this would actually give me flashback, but we'll do a flashback test. I'll put a picture here if it did give me flashback. Um, the skin, apart from the balm, I'm not, I'm a bit unsure about the skin stuff. Okay, so now I'm going, I bought this Aqua Beauty blush and bronzer kind of duo. It's Aqua Infused, so I was very intrigued by that. So I thought, let me get this, and it has like a coral color in there. Um, I wasn't unsure. I wasn't sure if this is like a cream or or powder, but it definitely comes much brighter in real life. It doesn't look like that on the website, and the formula feels like a cream to powder kind of thing and when you put it on your skin it's very it's like a cream powder let me swatch it so those are the swatches the bronzer and the brush i just proper dropped the eyeshadow palette and it hasn't broke okay so i'm just gonna go in with the bronzer first That's actually kind of nice, actually. I feel like you definitely need to use more like patting motions with this product. I'm just going to put a bit around my mouth area just to give that area a bit of colour back. I'm trying to salvage as much as I can. I'm just going to take a bit of the blush because it is quite bright. Yeah, like with the brush, you don't need that much. I need to go grab my highlighter, but... 
you know what so far I'm actually kind of happy with that it's very natural very easy to blend I mean once I get the hang of it I'll, I'll definitely like use this I kind of really like it especially the bronzer I really like the bronzer the foundation's adapting a little bit better it's gone a bit more warm out which I'm kind of happy about just gonna go in with that dark navy color really close to the lash line I'm just gonna curl my lashes get the mascara this is the new formula lengthening and vol volumizing mascara in black it's very small very small so i felt like it would really get into the corner but we'll see you guys really know how i am about mascaras so let's see can do this eye first can you see that cast sometimes when i put mascara i just feel like there's no product going on and with this one i don't feel like that Okay, so I'm very, very surprised by the mascara. I can't speak today, but it looks really good. I mean, I'm not sure about like, the foundation. I'm really not sure, guys. And the highlighter that I have is the Blushed, Blushed Gems Highlighter. And then the final thing that I got is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, which I've heard a lot about on social media for a long time now. Um, it says it prevents colours from running or fading, helps to keep your makeup in place all day, lightweight, oil-free, soothes the skin, green tea, cucumber and vitamins A and C and E. That's just a rundown of what it says. doesn't really have a scent. It has a really nice, easy mist as well. Okay, and then the final thing I got is the Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is what it looks like, and this is in the shade Praline. Oh, that's a nice colour. So that's a really nice colour. I mean, it's a bit light, but I just really like the overall colour. If I were to wear this, I would use a lip liner. But yeah, this is the finished look, guys. I really am impressed with overall, like, the brand and the products. Um, the only things that I weren't too sure about were the... Um, was the foundation and I think it was just the foundation everything else I'm really surprised about my favorite was the eyeshadow palette the aqua eyeshadow um, the bronzer um, the mascara I was really surprised at it's actually really nice and I would use it and I love the yeah my favorite is the brow gel and the brow stuff I absolutely love the highlight is really pretty as well. It's more natural than in your face. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm really pleased with everything apart from the foundation. I mean, if you guys want a full review on it, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.